morning guys welcome to day 18 of one lone cat and of course i'm on my way to work fog's starting to clear up a bit so we'll see what today has in store for us i don't know i keep seeing flashes of light up in the sky i don't know if it's lightning or fireworks or what still kind of muggy out ended up crashing when i got home from work today so there isn't really going to be a lot i can talk about today Okay, the only thing that really happened today, well, apart from the fact that the humidity is so bad, and right now i got a bit of a headache, is actually, I've got another trailer reaction. And this trailer reaction is yet another reboot, but it's actually a reboot of one of my favorite film franchises of all time. And it's the franchise that forever defined the revenge movie genre. And of course I'm talking about the remake of Death Wish, which is starring Bruce Willis in Charles Bronson's iconic role as an ordinary man who becomes a vigilante. So basically, the trailer for that just dropped today and it's directed by Eli Roth, which is another groan-inducing fact. I've only seen like a couple of his movies, they weren't very good. But actually, this trailer does sort of give me some hope. So if I can call it up here... Holy crap, it's coming out on Thanksgiving too. Okay, here it is. We're going to play it for you right now. Sway in the morning, stay four five. We got to talk about what's happening in Chicago. Everybody's watching this viral video of this guy in the hoodie. They're calling the Grim Reaper. He stopped the carjacking. Is he right for taking the law into his own hands? He's become a folk hero. What about the shooter? He looked like a white dude. <laughs> That kind of sounds like they're remaking the Thomas Jane Punisher, because there is also a scene where he's torturing a guy in a garage. Oh, that was awesome! I really hope that line's a tagline. Cock blocked and ready to rock. And there's the iconic finger gun scene at the end of the first one. You look much better getting out socializing. Not so much. Well, whatever you're doing, keep it up. <laughs> Well, may not be along the lines of the first 1974 film with Charles Bronson, because the first one was kind of a social commentary movie about whether or not vigilantism will actually stop crime. But then again, it was the 70s. This is basically more like they're remaking the later films, like Death Wish 2, especially Death Wish 3. That movie was glorious. Well, because the sequels had a lot of humor in it, and I actually have all five of the films on DVD. Yes, there were five Death Wish films. A lot of people don't know about the fifth one because it didn't last very long in theaters. Plus, it was actually, I think, Charles Bronson's last theatrically released film. While I'm normally against remakes, especially remakes of a movie like Death Wish, but this looks like a lot of fun. And of course, it's Bruce Willis because it's a generic Bruce Willis movie. You know what to expect in a Bruce Willis movie. Bruce Willis goes around, saves the day, and kills people. And again, I'm still skeptical because the movie's directed by Eli Roth. And of course, you know what his track record in Hollywood is like. As far as I'm concerned, he's a better actor than a director. So yeah, it's another one to look forward to. Boy, it feels like a sauna in here. And I got a fan going behind me, too. So there you go, trailer reaction. And I guess that's going to be it for today. And I hear there's supposed to be a storm coming tomorrow. 
Hopefully it's not too bad. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, click that like button, smash that bell, and subscribe to me at youtube.com slash Tim Black Hat Loner Hands.